like a common rat. How expected. I bet steering that thing requires a whole lot of concentration. Stop this. Stop what? Cleaning up the streets? Ensuring the GCPD actually does its job? Removing corruption from the system? Was it one of those in particular you took issue with, or all of them? You're using the data you've stolen to blackmail people. So? It gets the job done. It's certainly kinder than the beatings you're so fond of doling out. Think on that. I've got multiple calls available. Sending them out in priority order.
Enigma's data. Where'd you hide it? Okay. You win. I'll show you. Police know the victim fell from a nearby building, but there's not much else in the file. His identity might shed some light on things. Brian Murphy, an account manager at the Gotham Merchants Bank. Cause of death, internal injuries sustained on impact. Now I know what happened. Time to find out how and why. Blood spatter indicates a high velocity impact. I should check the roof. The railing here is broken. Was it an accident or was he pushed? Huh. Two sets of footprints means the victim wasn't alone. And the scattered paperwork suggests he had a briefcase. I need to find that. Interesting. There are two sets of fingerprints here. One belongs to the victim, the other to Robert Haynes, a well-known con artist. Alfred, I need the last known location of Robert Haynes. I'll send over everything I've got in case it helps. No need, sir. I already have a search area. Check your display. Investigating this crime should have a relay station set up. It'll look like a mobile satellite dish, probably on a rooftop.
What happened to Brian Murphy? We had a deal. He gave me the account numbers. I faked being a client and cleared out the account. In exchange, he gets a cut. It's a con I run a hundred times. But then he starts to get nervous, tries to back out. So you threw him off a roof? I couldn't risk a warning the bank. I'll go to the cops. I had to protect my interests. And how'd that work out for you? Alfred, contact the GCPD and let them know Brian Murphy's killer has been apprehended. Send over the evidence as well. Consider it done, sir. Potential assignment incoming. Keep this channel open. I'm rubbing the stakes, Batman. They're just like I promised. Tread carefully. I ain't never seen me no half bad, half bad. Oh, boy! You sure showed that great who's in charge. Consider maybe you're not as clever as you think. <laughs> Says the man who seems to have mistaken Christmas Eve for Halloween. <laughs> In case you haven't noticed, I've got the entire city under surveillance, feeding me all of its dirty little secrets. And I did it all on your watch, oh great guardian of Gotham. So, what do you have to say to that? I'm taking your network down. 
Spoken like a true Neanderthal. Well, you can certainly try. Dispatch! Bad is... Get him on... What's your 20? On the balcony for a smoke with a menace. Those men on the balcony, that could be my way in. Pretty shut case. Penguin murdered Black Mask and his lady friend. I mean, we found the bastard's stubby little fingerprints right by the bodies. Yeah, we got Penguin now. I'd like to see him screw him out of this one. Fingerprints, two dead bodies. He's about to do some time. We got action! Police believe Penguin murdered Black Mask, but why would he send me here if he was the killer? It doesn't add up. This crime took place days ago. The fire and the exposure to the elements make identifying the victims difficult. The male victim is wearing a black mask, but I can't positively identify him as Roman Sionis without a DNA analysis. Something I can't do in the field. I can identify the female victim based on her fingerprints. Tiffany Ambrose, Roman Sionis' girlfriend, or one of them at least. She was no angel, long list of priors, but nothing to indicate she was the target here. The fire spread as a result of a Molotov cocktail thrown into the room. It may have been intended to destroy evidence. The shallow trajectory of the bullet suggests the shooter could be someone of Penguin's height. But the grooves on the floor suggest that the victim was killed by someone leaning back in a chair. The 
this bullet was fired from a revolver. Ballistics analysis indicates a low angle of trajectory. The shooter could have been someone of Penguin's height, but the pattern in the gunpowder residue suggests the bullet was actually fired by someone lying on the ground. These fingerprints are a match for the Penguin, but they're on top of the soot from the fire. The cops were right. Penguin was in the room. But these prints prove he was here after the murders were committed. If he didn't kill Black Mask, who did? The only thing I know for certain is that Tiffany's shooter was lying on the floor. But why? These white streaks are shoe polish. Whoever shot Tiffany was being dragged along the floor. Besides the victims, there were two other people in the room. Tiffany's shooter, and whoever was dragging the shooter. The location from which the male victim was shot may tell me more. The DNA here doesn't belong to either of the victims. Whose is it? The fight broke out when someone startled the shooter. It's not clear who won the fight. It could have been either one of them. I should review the evidence to see if I can learn anything more about either the intruder or the shooter. Fabric analysis indicates the intruder was wearing a white suit or sport jacket. This fabric swatch could help identify the intruder, but I still can't identify the male victim's shooter. There's one impact area I haven't checked for clues. This DNA is from the female victim. The level of oxidation suggests it's been here for several days. If I review the evidence, I may be able to find out what she was doing when she was attacked. She was sending text messages to Roman Sionis about someone named the Joker. Someone killed Black Mask, but this crime took place several days ago, and I saw Black Mask earlier tonight. The only answers I have raise more questions. Who is the Joker? Was he the killer here, or is he one of the assassins? I have a body, an unknown shooter, and an unknown assailant who attacked the shooter. I need to match the DNA samples against the records in the National Criminal Database to identify who was in the room. Alfred, I need access to the National Criminal Database. Well, the only way to do that would be to infiltrate the Gotham City Police Department. Then that's where I'm going. Sir, you'd need to physically hack into their servers. If you insist on doing something that foolish, you'll need a powerful non-lethal weapon. I recommend coming back here to pick up your concussion detonator. Not a bad idea. Maybe we can...